Let's go together, little butterfly friend. We can fly from here to there. We can stop and smell a rose. We can fly up and down. You can land on Elmo's nose. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's flap our wings and go together, little butterfly friend. goes through a metamorphosis, a big change, and turns into a butterfly. Butterflies are insects with six legs, two antennae, and two pairs of wings. For food, butterflies drink nectar from flowers and juice from some fruits. Boy, that was cool, Smarty! Well, I butterfly. <laughs> Get it? Butterfly? Right, right. Butterfly? butterfly. <laughs> Catch you later, Elmo. Bye bye, Smarty. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's help the butterfly get to the flower for lunch. Are you ready? Let's play. Ready, butterfly? Okay, go. Uh-oh, he's stuck. Oh, no. The butterfly took a wrong turn. Go back the way you came. That's it. Keep going, butterfly. Keep going. Oh, no. You went too far. Go back, butterfly. Don't miss the turn. Keep going, butterfly. You're almost there. That's it. Good job! We helped the butterfly get to the flower. Yay! We did it! Yeah, baby. Well, Elmo really loves butterflies. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know about butterflies? Oh, let's ask him. <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Oh, Mr. Noodle, Elmo was wondering, do you know about butterflies? You do? Oh, show us a butterfly. 
Hi, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, yeah. Show, show us. us. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, that's butter. <laughs> that's butter. <laughs> what are you doing? No, <laughs> Mr. Noodle. Show us a butterfly, not butter that flies. Okay, Elmo will give you a hint. A butterfly has two antenna, yeah, and four wings. Yeah, that's right. Where did he go? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Noodle. You're dressed up like a flower. Wait, look. Wow. wow. Look at all the butterflies. Butterflies love flowers. Great job showing us butterflies, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Noodle. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on. Slippers fit okay? Perfect! Oh, good! <laughs> now, how can we help you, Grover? Oh, well, my blue fur needs a little fluffing. Oh, and I also want to be a butterfly. A butterfly? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, just for the day. Oh. I am on my way to the garden for a play date with some cute little butterflies, and I want to look the part. Well, we can do that for you. We are monster makeover experts. Oh, good! I knew I came to the right place. Mm. I have many outfits, like this Whoa. and this, Whoa. but sadly, no butterfly costume. Ah, uh, well, that's okay, Grover. We'll turn you into a butterfly in no time. Really? <laughs> oh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, let's see. A butterfly has big wings. Oh, and cute little antennas on their cute little heads. Do not forget those. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I got this. <laughs> 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 Am I a beautiful butterfly? Well, you're beautiful <laughs> butter. <laughs> oh, perfect. Me got loaf of bread, container of milk, and all me need is a stick of butter. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Crowver. I got this. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is butter. I mean, better. <laughs> Hi, Grover. Hmm? Where you come from? Oh, well, uh, well, okay, me gonna go find butter somewhere else. Bye-bye. Uh, bye, Cookie bye. Master. Uh, listen, we need to make Grover a butterfly, not butter with antennae. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one more time. Yeah. zippity yes. Did we do it? Am I a beautiful butterfly now? Well, you're a butter pecan. Oh, no, 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 this is Grover. <laughs> Okay, now you just playing with me. Oh. <sighs> I did smell delicious. But a butter pecan pie is not a butterfly. Well, I'll try again. We'll make a butterfly out of you, Grover. Here we uh, Abby, uh -huh. um, Elmo thinks that maybe we don't need magic to make a butterfly. Look, look, we have these antennae that Abby made. Oh, and this tablecloth. <gasps> Hey, wait! Maybe this tablecloth could be the butterfly wing. Yeah, we can make Grover a butterfly ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <it. laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I think we will like this a lot. All right, let's do some zhuzhing here. Turned cute and adorable Grover into cute 
and adorable Grover Butterfly! <laughs> oh, and just in time for my play date, too! Wait for me, Butterflies! Get me here, Butter. No? Okay, bye bye <laughs> Well, there goes another happy monster makeover customer! Do they like music? Bees kind of do sing to themselves because they use the waggle dance. And while they're wiggling, they can tell all the other bees in the hive where the good food is. Just yes. like Elmo. Oh, Chandler, there's some good food over there. Hi, what's your name? Ava. Hi, Ava. It's nice to meet you. We have a friend with us today. Hi, Elmo. I'm Ryan. You're in a very interesting suit. Do you know what this big jacket is? Well, I don't think it's an astronaut suit, no, but it looks like it. It does, kind of. Hmm. I think I know what it is. Yeah? This guy's a beekeeper. Solid guess. <laughs> I am a beekeeper. I love bees. <laughs> do you? Yes. That's good. Chandler, do you know what a beekeeper does? Hmm. He, like, stores bees. You store bees, is that right, Mr. Ryan? So I take care of honeybees. I've got a bunch of colonies of bees, and they make me a ton of honey every year. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's too bad that there aren't any bees here to see, you know? I know. Uh, too Wouldn't bad. that be cool? I will. <sighs> Can't see any bees today. You want to see something cool? Uh, okay. <laughs> I brought a couple friends along. No, there's not bees, are there? Wow. Not that many. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> yeah, oh my what do you gosh. Think of that? Hi, oh bees. my gosh. You know what, Ava? Emma was a little nervous at first, too. They won't sting you, they're hard at work. I've never seen that many bees in my life. I know, these are my honeybees. Oh, they're so cute. Aren't they? <laughs> Mr. Ryan, do you ever get scared of the bees? So, I used to get scared of the bees a lot, but now, not really at all. Really? Yeah, I got used to them. Bees are actually very, very gentle. They only sting if you try to mess with their hive. Which we will not do. How many bees are in here? So there's probably about 2,000 bees in this hive That's right a now. lot of bees. Yep. So yeah. they have a queen in here. She's got a big red dot on her back. Do you see her? Big red dot. I oh, found it, I found it, I found it. You got it? Look at that! Hi, queen! Why does that look like paint? It is paint, actually. Why do you paint? So, it doesn't hurt her at all. We put a red dot on her as beekeepers so that we know where she is in the hive. Let's let Mommy look at there the bees. There are so many of them. <laughs> it's a lot, right, Mommy? Mommy, the queen bee has a red dot. Mommy, look shiny. at the queen bee. Touch her. <laughs> <laughs> all the bees are gathering around her. That is called a retinue, and they are her little group of bees that just take care of her all the time. <laughs> so the queen is in there just laying eggs, and that's all she does all day long. All day? So a queen can lay about 2,000 bees per day. And all the other workers in here, the worker bees, they are the queen's daughters. So the queen gave birth to all these other all bees? All of them, every single one. <laughs> so each bee has a different job. What do you think their jobs would be? Do they deliver mail? No, no mail delivery in the bee world. Um, to make honey. To make honey, that's one job. Some bees are in charge of cleaning the hive. Some bees are in charge of taking care of the babies. Some are in charge of taking care of the queen. So they kind of work like a community. They do. They're a big team. Wow. Do bees go to the bathroom? They do, but they don't go inside the hive oh. most of the time. There's only one bee that's allowed to go inside of the hive. Uh oh. Do you know which one bee is allowed to go in the hive? Jerry. Jerry? <laughs> Jerry's always going to the bathroom in there. <laughs> I thought it was the queen bee. That's it. She's the only one, Elmo, the only one that's allowed to go to the bathroom in the hive. You better talk to Jerry. Do you know how the bees make the honey? I mean, I just thought they go to flowers, they get the pollen, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Things I don't know. So, they make honey from nectar, which is also from flowers. Mm -hmm. And they actually use their tongues and they suck up the nectar, <laughs> and then they fly it all the way back in a little thing called their honey stomach. Wait, so they have a honey stomach, but do they also eat with that stomach? Yeah, they have a regular stomach that's after their honey stomach. So they have two stomachs? They have two stomachs. That's so cool. <laughs> Since you're a beekeeper, do you eat honey every single day? So not every day, but a lot of days. The greatest 
combination to make a sandwich. I'm sorry, peanut butter and jelly, but honey and peanut butter is amazing. It just so happens that I have some honey that we can try. Really? Would you like to that, try that's some? A, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> you know what, Mr. Ryan? Yes. Elmo is going to go dress up like a bee. Because Elmo wants to know what it's like to be a bee. <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, Elmo, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's get these off of here. Don't drop it. I don't trust seen? that thing. It's just honey in the honeycombs. Oh. Mm. There you go. Bzz, bzz. Wait a minute. Are you trying honey? Um, yes. May I almost try some? Thank you. There you got some. Okay. Good. Mmm, smells like honey. <laughs> that is good. Almost compliments to the bees. <laughs> no, this is good. Good, right? What do you think, Ava? Did they do a good yeah. job or a yeah. bad job? <laughs> they did a bad job. <laughs> That's okay. Not everybody likes the same things. That's you know? all right. You know what, Mr. Ryan? Yeah. Elmo brought his own. Did you? Yeah. Is this the same stuff that we get in grocery stores? Is it the same honey as you have there? So it's kind of the same stuff, but not really. Oh. Well, then forget it. Elmo brought yours. <laughs> this is actually black locust honey, and they make this stuff in May. Do they have diff a different calendar for what different types of honey they make? The type of honey that they make all depends on the flowers that are in bloom. I want to do the blueberry first. You want to do blueberry? Oh, that sounds good. Mmm. Mmm. Do you like it? It actually tastes really good. Then. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Wait, give it to Elmo. Oh, you know what? If Elmo eats that right now, it'll get all over Elmo's costume. But bees eat their own honey. Elmo's just a pretend bee. <laughs> Not a real bee. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is another fruit. Blackberry. Cranberry. What? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Don't they taste different? Yeah. Yeah? Mr. Ryan? Yes, Elmo. Elmo wants to know, what can we do to help the bees? Just growing a lot of flowers. Oh. So growing flowers yeah. can really yeah, help bees. Yeah, it can help the bees like a lot. So we plant the flowers so they can help us. If we didn't plant flowers, I think something bad could happen. So do you know what bad would happen? 130 different fruits and vegetables. We oh, wouldn't have them growth? anymore. Yep. 130. 130 different kinds. Apples, uh, watermelons, I mean, I mean oranges. Watermelon. I need oranges. <laughs> There's tons of stuff that needs pollinated by bees. Plant flowers. We need these fruits. We have to do lots of gardening. Plant all of the stuff. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, you still have this spoon. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, no. It's, it's honey. It's too sticky. <laughs> it was very nice meeting you. Thanks, I like buddy. Learn, learning about bees. Hi, right, Mr. Ryan. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Elmo. I had fun, too. It was nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Again, 
just give me a buzz. Buzz, buzz! Oh, buzz, buzz! Boy, Elmo loves learning about bees. Oh, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as it. Is this one the same? It looks kind of the same. Bees have one, two, three, four wings. That one doesn't have wings. So what about this one? Is it exactly the same as this bee? How many wings does it have? One, one two, two, three, four. four. It has four wings. Oh, and how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it exactly the same as this bee? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six legs. legs. There's our match. Yay, we did it. Great job. like a bumblebee. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, what do bees do? Bees don't ride scooters. Mr. Noodle. No, what do bees do? Oh, Elmo will give you a hint. Bees make something you eat. A cake. He's making a cake. No, bees don't make cakes, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> No, but they do make something else that's sweet. Sweet and sticky. Yeah, bees make honey. Yeah, honey! There you go, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, it's oh too boy. much. It's too much. That's too much honey, Mr. Noodle. Wipe it off. Uh oh. Oh, no, you're stuck. Uh -oh. The honey is sticky, Mr. Noodle. You're making a mess, Mr. Noodle. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on! Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, The letter B, B, B. B is for bees. At the bee farm, I learned that bees are insects and have six legs, two antennae, and two pairs of wings. This is Bill. He's a beekeeper. He takes care of bees. Bill wears a special suit when he takes care of the bees. It helps protect him. Bees live in hives. Oh look, this bee is busy pollinating. That's when bees spread pollen from a plant, flower, fruit, or vegetable to another to help make more grow. Bill told us that bees are the only insects that make food for people. Honey! that you can eat with honey. Thanks, bees. The letter B! Bogger make food. I make food. Place you order if you're lucky. We make food and our food is drunk. Yeah! Oh, with the arms. We got it, we got it. I got it, I got it. I got it. It's your grandmama.
sandwich for the neighborhood picnic. Oh, I need you to make them for me. Can you help me, please? Uh, yes, Grandma Mama. Yeah, we can help you because we are Monster Foodies. Make me proud, boys. We will. So, yeah, okay, oh, uh, what we need to make buttermilk biscuits. Oh, uh, I'll check the recipe. Yeah. Buttermilk, flour, butter, and the secret ingredient, the honey. Okay, we got the buttermilk, uh, flour, and butter. Uh, okay, and uh, oh. Uh-oh, we out of honey. No honey, but we got to have the honey. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, well, we'll just have to make more. Uh, you know anyone who can make honey? Bees. Where? No, 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 the bees make the honey. Bees make honey? <laughs> you know any bees? No, but I know where to find some. Follow me. Okay. Farm. We're going to the bee farm. Where the honey? Me don't see any honey. Oh, that's the beekeeper. Hello, Mr. Beekeeper. Can you please help us? We need honey. Hey, Cookie Monster and Gonger. You've come to the right place. Welcome to the bee farm. But uh, where all the honey? The honey is in these hives. After the bees gather nectar from the flowers, they bring it back to the hive to make honey. When the honey is ready, we take the honeycomb from the hive. Then it's put into a spinner. The honey is collected and eventually put into bottles so that people can enjoy it. Bees are the only insects that give us food. And here's some for you. Thank you, Mr. Beekeeper. Thank you. We got honey from the bee farm. Ah. Hey, we got the secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. Now we can make you grandma's buttermilk biscuit. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna look at the recipe. Hmm. We need one cup of flour. One cup of flour. There's some butter. Butter. Now I'm gonna mash it. Dump the honey. Oh, and the buttermilk. Now whisk them. Then mix everything together. Oh, star, 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 star. Yeah, yeah. Now spoon onto the cookie sheet. Oh, oh, me got this. Yeah. And now, we bake. Okay, into the oven. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nom, 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 nom. It's ready. Order oh. up. Bye bye, biscuits! To the loo! <laughs> oh, Cookie Monster. Yeah, Gunger. I got this nice for you. <gasps> oh, boy. Mmm. Um, um, no, 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 Well, it smells good. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, they're great! Yeah! <laughs> well, they're a special treat, and I'm sure the whole neighborhood is just going to love it. <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome! Yeah! Yeah! Yay! Happy Yogi yeah. Monsters to yeah. the rescue! We make yummy food just for you! We're on our way to where the doggies play! Watering the flowers. Oh, oh. oh, it's Tango 
thirsty? <laughs> okay, I'm over water you too. <laughs> oh, good girl, Tango. <laughs> um, did Tango just make that chirpy sound? Oh, there it is again. Did Abby make that chirpy sound? <laughs> That's not me, Elmo. It's my bug friend, Chirpy. See? Chirpy's a cricket. Whenever he rubs his wings together, he makes a chirping sound. Oh, nice to meet you, Chirpy. <laughs> wow, Chirpy sure likes eating that leaf. Oh, yeah. Chirpy loves eating leaves. They're his favorite snack in the whole wide world. Isn't that right, Chirpy? Ah! Chirpy? Where'd Chirpy go? He was right here, but now he's gone! Gone? Tango, this sounds like a mystery! A mystery, it's so mysterious! A missing Tango!
itsy bitsy spider. Oh, <laughs> Smarty's pretending to be a spider, which is great, because Emma wants to learn all about spiders. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. Searching the web for spiders. Spiders are a special kind of animal called an arachnid, which means they have eight legs. And did you know spiders have four pairs of eyes? Spiders have tiny hairs on their feet that help them hold on tight so they can walk upside down. They can spin webs. The webs are sticky, so the spider can catch insects for food. Some spiders are big. Some spiders are teeny tiny. Spiders live in all kinds of places. Some spiders live in the desert. Some spiders live in the jungle. Some skate on water. Some live in underground burrows. And some spiders live in gardens. They help the plants by catching bugs in their webs. Wow, Emma didn't know spiders were so helpful. Ooh, my smarty sense is tingling. Gotta go, Elmo. Bye-bye, <laughs> oh, Smarty. Boy, spiders can live in so many different places. <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Elmo wonders if we can find all three spiders. Are you ready? Let's play! Do you see any spiders? Over, Over here. here! Look in the garden! Hello, spider! Do you see any more spiders? How about by the pond? <laughs> That's a duck. Oops, sorry, duck. There, in the sand. That's right. Hello, spider. Let's find one more spider. Hmm, Elmo doesn't see any. There it is. Yay, we did it. Nice web spider. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves how spiders make their very own webs. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know about spider webs? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Noodle! It's Mr. Noodle's sister, Miss Noodle. Hi, Miss Noodle. Miss Noodle, do you know about spider webs? You do? Oh, show us how to build a spider web, Miss Noodle. Yeah, show, show us how. how. <laughs> Miss Noodle? Miss Noodle, that's an accordion. You're playing music, not building a spider web. Emma will give you a hint. Spider webs are sticky. That's honey. Oh, Miss Noodle, honey is sticky, but you don't use honey to build spider webs either. Oh, you have an idea? <laughs> Shmoodle looks very nice in his spider costume, but, um... They're not insects. They're arachnids. What's not to love? They make webs and have cool little hairs on their feet so they can walk upside down. Hiya, Basket! Hi, Abby. Hi, Rudy. I've got something. 
something exciting for you today. What could it be? Count with me. One, two, three. A, a magnifying, magnifying glass. glass. It's a tool you can use to find very small animals. Like spiders. Or insects. You bet. Just grab onto my handles and we'll go on a jungle adventure. Howdy ho, out we go! Look at those trees. Hey, nice clothes, sis. We look like real, um, hey, basket. What are we? Arachnologists. Arachnologists? Arachnologists are scientists who study spiders. Yay! Oh, spiders. Yay. Your job, arachnologist, is to find a very special mirror spider and observe it in its natural habitat. That's where it lives. Basket, that's like the arts and crafts spider that Abby made. You mean there's a real spider that looks like that? Yep. Whoa, really? Yes, like all spiders, they have eight legs, but mirror spiders are colorful and shiny and they make their homes in leaves. I guess that's pretty cool. But they're teeny tiny and very hard to find. Good luck, arachnologists! Wait, they're teeny and tiny? And spiders? <laughs> I give up. We can't give up before we even try. After all, we've got magnifying glasses. Yeah, let's do it. Let's find that, that spider. <laughs> Help us find the mirror spider. Okay, they're teeny and tiny and colorful. <laughs> there, it's teeny, tiny, and colorful, but it has wings. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. So that means it's an insect. Right, spiders have eight legs and no wings. Keep trying, arachnologists. I'll give you a clue. Mirror spiders like to make their house inside a leaf. They use their web to curl the leaf over like a little tent. <gasps> like a fort? That's amazing. Let's look at the leaves. Okay, leaf fort, leaf fort. Rudy, go back. There. Let's look inside. Okay. Hello, mirror spider. Wow. Cool. Is it a mirror spider? Let's check. It's teeny, it's tiny, it's colorful. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. And it lives in a leaf fort. We found it. Look, the shiny parts change shape. You are the coolest spider ever. Thanks for letting us observe you in your natural habitat. That's so cool. Good job, arachnologists. You didn't give up, and you found the rare mirror spider. You two are a really great team. Secret, Secret handshake. Up, up, high, down, down low. low. Yay, we did it. Way, Way to go. go. Time to go home. <laughs> Arachnologist and make your own mirror spider. I even made a leaf fort for mine. Here you go, your own natural habitat. See ya next time on Abby's Amazing Adventures! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The ladybugs came to the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they all played games at the ladybug's picnic. They had twelve sacks, so they ran sack races, and they fell on the backs, and they fell on the faces. The ladybug's twelve at the ladybug's picnic. They played jump rope, but the rope it broke, so they just sat around telling knock knock jokes. The ladybug's twelve at the ladybug's picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they chatted away at the ladybug's picnic. 
They talked about the high price of furniture and rugs and fire insurance for Ladybug. Ladybug's 12 at the Ladybug's picnic. 12. What are we going to find in the garden today? Ladybugs. Let's count the ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen ladybugs. Fifteen. What's going on? Play, play, play. Oh, you want to play? Well, sure. What should we play? Um, kickball? Mm. Oh, okay, maybe not. Well, how about hide and seek? <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> Sometimes friends like different things, so it can be hard to figure out what to play together. <laughs> play, play, play. <laughs> oh, but you know what helps? To find something that you both like to do. Like, uh, <gasps> Julia, you like to flap your arms, right? And and I like to flap my wings. See, flap, flap, flap. <laughs> See, flap. Oh, oh. look! Oh. Butterfly, butterfly. <laughs> yeah, we both like butterflies. <laughs> oh, butterfly, butterfly, play, butterfly. That is a good idea. We can pretend to be butterflies. <laughs> flap, 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 flap. <laughs> this is a great way to play. Oh, oh, oh here he comes. Hi. Hello, butterfly. You want to play too? Play, play. <laughs> sure, we can all play together and we can all be friends. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there he goes. Come on, Julia. Butterfly, 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 butterfly. <laughs> We're on our way to where the doggies play. What mystery will we solve today on Elmo and Tango? Mysterious mysteries. <laughs> Tango, go Tango! <laughs> oh, 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 today Elmo and Tango. Stinks. That's right. You do. Yes, you do. Hi, Oscar. Who's Oscar talking to? Oh, uh, well, if you must know, these are my four stink bug friends. Wow! <laughs> Hi, stink bugs. Oh, hey, Oscar's stink bug friends sure are stinky. <laughs> I know. Isn't it great? I found them playing in the dirt next to my can. Oh, that reminds me. Now, I know you stink bugs like playing in the dirt, so I made you a big dirt ball to play with. Huh? Hey, where'd they go? They were right here, but now they're gone. Run! Tango, that's a mystery! A mystery, it's so mysterious. Missing stink bugs, that's serious. It's a problem we can solve together with. Yeah? Well, hurry up, will ya? It's just not as stinky around here without them. Come on, Tango. Let's investigate. <laughs> Something stinky. And it's coming from Grover's laundry basket. Hmm, Elmo wonders, what if the stink bugs are in Grover's basket? Let's try looking. <laughs> Hi, Grover. Are there stink bugs in Grover's basket? Stink bugs? No, Elmo. These are just my adorable little socks, see? 
I am taking them to the laundromat. Oh, the stinky smell is coming from Grover's stinky oh. socks, not the stink bugs. Uh, my socks are not that stinky. Ew. Oh, dear. Let's keep looking. Elmo and Tango have to solve the mystery. Oh, another stinky smell. And it's coming from Hooper's. Uh. Elmo wonders, what if the stink bugs went to Hooper's to eat a snack? Let's try looking. Oh. Oh. The stinky smell is coming from Cookie Monster's grilled cheese, not the stink bugs. Mm. Oh, this not grilled cheese. This grilled stinky cheese. Nom, 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 nom. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well. This mystery is very mysterious. But Elmo and Tango can't give up. We told Oscar we'd find the stink bugs. <laughs> oh, I must smell something stinky. And it's coming from the park. Hmm. Oscar said the stink bugs love the dirt. Oh, and there's lots of dirt in the park. So, Elmo wonders, what if the stink bugs went to the park to play in the dirt? Let's try looking. <laughs> to make sure all four stink bugs are here. Count with Elmo. One, two, three, four. Four stink bugs all together. Elmo and Tango solve the mystery. Oh, oh. Shake your tail and stop your feet. Tango, here's the doggy oh. treat. Oh. Huh? My stink bug friends, you found them. Oh, Stinkies, I missed you. Uh... I'll ask her. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. See you next time. It's such a nice day. I thought I would just come to the park here and enjoy nature. Ah. Hey, have you ever stopped to look at all the marvelous little insects and critters that live in the park? Oh. You know what that is? It's a caterpillar. Hi, Mr. Caterpillar. Inching along, I see. Oh, a caterpillar crawls around. His tummy rubs along the ground. But you're bound to get a big surprise. Cause they grow up into butterflies. And how are you today, Mr. Grasshopper? Very hoppy? A grasshopper will leap and hop. You wonder, does it ever stop? They're the kind of insect you might see eating grass beneath a shady tree. 
And do you know what's making that sound? It's a cricket. Look. Now crickets are those chirpy things to make that noise they rub their wings. When you hear that sound, the chance is good that there's a cricket in the neighborhood. See? And there it is in that thicket. A cricket in the thicket. And I bet you know what that is. Yep, it's a bee. Hi, Mr. Bee. You looking for your honey? A honey bee will buzz around wherever flowers can be found. They will look for nectar they can take so that honey they can later make. Goodbye, Mr. Bee. Oh, look, now there's an ant. You'll find that ants are everywhere. They always crawl from here to there. They're little, but they're very strong. And they like to work the whole day long. So these are the insects in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Yes, these are the insects in your neighborhood. They're the insects that you meet when you're walking down the street. They're the insects that you meet each day.